Hello world, hello YouTube land. Uh, the video quality looks terrible today, so I'll keep this one short. I am going to get a HD camera, by the way, to um, update things uh, and bring myself bang up to, date, um, to the world, to 2013 and like the rest of you. Uh, I'm not living in 2002 anymore. Please get a, a decent bloody camera. Right, uh, let's do a review. Ian Conan, number four. The Hour of the Dragon, part four of six. Wait, um, I picked up this one because my usual copy of The Massive uh, wasn't at the comic book shop. Um, to be honest, I wasn't that disappointed because I was getting a bit better for The Massive. I'm glad I picked up this one because this one's going on the full list and The Massive is now going off. I know The Massive is written by Brian Wood, uh, King Conan, written by Timothy Truman, and artist is Thomas Giovelli. It's just a lot more interesting, really. I'm not more interested in the world of um, um, King Conan with his um, uh, witches and his uh, uh, um, evil wizards you can see through the eyes of ravens, him slashing his sword around here, there and everywhere. I'm much more interested in than a bloke on a ship uh, looking for another ship, which is what the master is all about. Right, uh, King Conan, I'll quickly go to my five categories. Uh, art. Uh, reminds me of an old horror or adventure comic when I was a kid, now uh, quite, quite a few years back now. That's a, you know, feelings of nostalgia flooding over me, which is good for old people like me. Uh, it's got a gritty, uh, old school, uh, quality feel to it. Um, like I said before, my camera sucks, but I'll give you a quick example of some of the artwork. That's one of the ravens who the uh, evil source was using to look for the eyes. Uh, these uh, ravens are dispatched by eagles. Uh, the good guys use eagles, the bad guys use ravens. Uh, let's get a good picture of Conan himself, the hero of, our, hero of our comic. There he is looking all heroic on his horse. What a man! What a man! That's Conan. Uh, right, uh, Alice, I'll give that a... Uh, I liked it a lot. Uh, four out of five. The action! Uh, uh, Conan um, fights five bad guys um, all by himself, but not quite by himself. Just, just as he's uh, uh, finishing off the last few, I think he was about five actually with his sword, chopping them up. Um, a, a big wolf comes along to help him out. Uh, a wolf um, uh, ordered to protect Ro um, Conan uh, by this witch. Uh, not, a, not a bad witch, a good witch, a nice witch. Uh, nice to see the front cover actually playing out in his story as well. You can see the front cover there, we've got a, a wolf chomping up someone and Conan ducking underneath there. Uh, that actually plays out in the book. So uh, that's good. A lot of Marvel books you get a fantastic front cover and it never plays out in the comic. So. Um, when you've got the actual scene on the front cover played out in the comic, you don't feel like you've been ripped off. It's good stuff that. I was acting, 4 out of 5 again. A character is told through the uh, point of view of old Conan, explaining his younger days. And there's a bit at the end of the comic here. Yeah? It's called, uh, if I can get it right here, Lockbox, which um, explains all about the character of, uh, of Conan and why it's so interesting. I'll just read out what they say about him here. Ooh. Conan is a representation of the raw fortitude and real power that humanity will draw from when faced with our own black cosmic pits. Constantly enduring pain to overcome every obstacle or just trying at the very least and screaming forward in our hardy attempts. Yo yeah, Conan, keep running, keep running, keep running. Reminds me of when I'm doing my 5 k every week and I'm feeling knackered. Just keep on going, keep on going. So this Saturday when I do my 5k I'm going to be thinking about King Conan and I'm going to keep on running. Yes, I'm going mad. So that's character, I'll give that a 5 out of 5. Uh, what's next? Uh, oh yeah, storyline developments. Right, this is um, issue 4 of 6. I haven't got any of the other issues. But when reading this comic I knew exactly what was going on. It's very easy to pick up. Um, that's what I was, sort of, uh, I was worried about really when picking up number 4 of 6. I was worried that I wouldn't know what the hell was going on. But I did. I knew exactly what was going on from beginning to end. Now I can't. I can't wait to see the next issue. So story developments. I can't really give it a proper rating because I haven't got the, uh, the previous issues. I give that a. Uh, I give it a strong three out. Three out of five. But I said because I haven't got the uh, the previous issues. My last category. Um, police state issues. A new world order of police state issues. Uh, you know, my old. Uh, controversial category that some people might think I'm a bit mad to include, but I do anyway. And uh, yeah, in this comic we've got um, examples of how our um, power leads to corruption and um, 
when one leader falls, there's a power vacuum, what happens to his supporters, what happens to his, his rivals and young contenders. All this scored in here. Uh, basically what happens is that uh, Conan is presumed dead. Obviously he's not dead because he's Conan, the King Conan. He can't die, he's not just a mortal man, you know. And yeah, um, presumed dead, somebody else nicks his throne, he's coming back to take back what is rightfully his. Oh, just got my blue sheet. So yeah, please state issues because it deals with things that are relevant now, relevant to the, to the power, the acquisition, and the types of people who want to gain um, power. I'd give that a four out of five. So overall, I opened up a whole new world to me, the world of Robert E. Howard. He's the original author of um, of Conan for the Barbarian. Um, this book's actually based on the, on one of his books. It's um, it says here, adapting the novel by Robert E. Howard. So after I read all this, the uh, Hour of the Dragon Arc. Um, I'll be reading the actual novel itself as well, because um, although it's got a nostalgic feel to me, um, Conan isn't something that I read around when I was a kid. But things like this, just just not Conan itself. So it's fantastic to have a whole new world opening up for me. Which is why I like the Star Wars universe as well, because that's a whole new world. I, li I like these, this this world creation stuff. Um, although I did not like Saga, that's the world that was quite boring to me. Uh, the world of Conan is not boring, it's very interesting to me. Okay, so uh, love Conan, love the art, love the story, 9 out of 10 for me. King Conan, loved it, lots of fun for boys like me. Uh, check it out for yourself, really, really good work. Okay, that's it for me, I'll see you later. Goodbye.